I born in Tripoli. It's the capital city. It is big. There's like, uh, I guess, two million people live in Tripoli, and it is huge. It's big. The, I born there and I lived there all my life. So my first school, the high school, until I, I went to the college before the war started in my country, I was in Tripoli. As I always say, it's like uh, you never know. I mean, like, I don't know about uh, Europe or here, but where I come from, like, it's just you need to, to keep pushing the whole time and you need to have a luck because it, the chance will come one time sometimes. I was uh, playing in the street soccer the whole time until 15 years old. I saw some of my friends, they are going like walking. I say, hey, let's go to play because normally they play with us. But they say, no, they, they, they get accepted club, which is Alitihad, where I played there the whole, all my life. It's one of the biggest clubs in, uh, in Libya. I was like surprised, I was laughing on them. I said like, you know, why that club will take you guys from the street? And I saw them like for a few days, few weeks, they going and they was calling me, hey, let's, you, you can go with us. They're gonna take you, you are good and all of that. So one day I just say, okay, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna go to watch you guys. I played with them a few games and they start to call me like, hey, tomorrow you must come. I was good, so from there I start. I was like six years in my club playing uh, at Etihad and uh, I never got a chance to go to the first team. I was really close to, to change my mind. I wanna play soccer all my life, but like as a professional, I saw that like I don't have luck and that's not gonna come. So, but in one day the team were playing Champions League in Africa and they got lost in quarterfinal. So when they come back, they had a lot of problems. They fired the coach, many players. They had problem with the team, with the with the supporters. So they don't come to training. They don't want to play anymore. And one of these players, they were he were left back, and they don't have another left back except him. And when the coach left, his assistants, because they know me, I was training with them, they say, we have a problem in this position and we need someone that he can play. And they just call me from the training. They say, hey, just go change your clothes and start training with the first team. And nobody tell me anything that I'm going to go in. I say, maybe they just need someone in the training so they can complete the, the numbers. I find myself like first 11 for the first time in my life. After a few weeks from that, a few months, we had the problem start, start in Libya. And again, it was difficult because we stay eight months. I stay eight months in Libya since the war start from February until September. And that time I decided that I would go out because one of my coaches in national team, he's Serbian, he tried to give me a chance. He said, if I want to go to try in Serbia to play as a professional player. And I accept because there was no football in Libya, no soccer in Libya at all, and the situation was so bad. We don't have electricity. I mean, the life was so difficult. So I saw, I saw it like I'm not gonna lose anything. I can go, and I, if I couldn't make it, I can just come back. From Libya to America, like I never have that. I like even once. I didn't think about that. Even now, I was saying, like, the people ask me about that. I came to Orlando. Today I was talking with uh, some players, teammates, like, how this come and all. I say, like, I have no idea. Like, this come from nowhere. Like, in one day I just get the call and they say, hey, some people from America. I didn't have, I didn't know it's Orlando in the beginning, but they say it's like America and all. And they will say, like, what I'm going to do in America? Like, because I didn't have uh, any idea about the soccer here and all of that. So I said that I have to go to search to see how it's there and all. And when I, they say Orlando, like, I said to my wife, hey, it's going to be Orlando. And she just, she just say, hey, we are going for sure. I say, yeah, I know, we just need to wait. So this was a surprise for me, even for me, even when that I know that I'm coming. I didn't, I didn't believe until that, you know, I stepped in the airport here and I passed the control and they say, hey, welcome to Orlando. So, yeah, it was a big surprise for me. <laughs> when he came, everything changed. Because with him, like, 
I had to, to be free the whole time with him. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be his choice. That's gonna be nice, but if he chooses that, okay. If he chooses something else, that's gonna. Because that's what happened with me. I had to choose what I really want. My family didn't say nothing, but they would, they would prefer that time to I finish my school, my college, and be something like all parents want, a doctor or something, but I didn't have that plan in my, in my mind, so. So I wanna make it, I wanna let them choose too. I said like from the first day when I came, I was thinking like I was talking with my wife when I went to Jacksonville, because the team were there, and they said like, now I have to go through again that, that things that I don't like when I come to new team, like, you know, the players, no one want to talk to you, especially. I said that, I think my wife, I said, this is going to be difficult for me again, because this is my, my second club in one year. But when I came, like, I felt like I'm here for, like, no, I didn't, it's not that I just come, like, I'm here. They, the people, they already know me before even I, I come, and everybody, like, was joking with me. Justin was joking something in Arabic, you know. And I felt good from the first day, from the first training, from the staff, you know, I said different because uh, I told you, even in Europe, uh, the staff mentality, the coach and the people who work with him is a little different, you know, like, but here I, I had to, to I, got, I got the chance to, to see how good they are and how really professional they want to work, how really professional they want to make the team like to look like a really professional soccer team in the field or out of the field. There is uh, some activity we do here, like you never see, even families sometimes they don't do that. So I'm really happy with that, that I, that I came here and I'm, ha I'm happy that I really choose Orlando from all the teams in the MLS. Give me five, eh? Hey? Yes, give me five. Bah. Thank you. Mwah.